Hi guys, so in this tutorial we're actually going to look at building the Facebook clone but I think the first thing we need to do is to clear this out because I want to make this project a bit more looking I want to make the project look a bit nicer because currently the way it actually is is not nice so the first thing I need to do is to take out all this multiple code that is actually in the main dot that file and I'm going to create folders to actually like move things out so I'm going to create a folder called UI and within the UI folder I'm going to have um going to have views I'm also going to have another folder called widgets and if you in case you're wondering what views will hold views will actually hold different screens and widgets are actually going to be medium scale things or tiny screens that actually build up to create the entire ui so this 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 button here is a widget this is also a widget this here is also a widget this is also a widget essentially the text and every other thing is actually a widget so we have this all these are going to be contained within widgets and that's we want to achieve that so essentially i'm going to be building custom widgets to actually like hold different things that are actually going to build up to make my ui but i'm also i'm also going to be building ui elements that are actually like necessary because it's not every ui element that you need some of most of some of the some of the times you may not need to build custom widgets because float actually gives you like an already made widget that is just enough for you to actually like use so I'll be building those that I feel I need to make custom but it doesn't stop you if you feel all your widgets should be custom made within your own flutter project then definitely you can go for it and make all your widgets custom made so I think the first thing I need to do is to uh, is to start building the UI so uh, I think one of the things we are going to be needing in this um, project is going to be colors so i need to create another folder called utils and within this utils folder i'm going to have a file and i'm going to call it colors dot that and why i want to actually like create this folder is so that i can have all my colors within it and i don't need to actually keep going around and looking at these colors or looking for them so we c i think we should use um, rgba colors so uh, i'm going to use I'm going to make them constant so colors color is equal to color we're going to have light blue light blue is going to be equal to color and within the bracket we're going to have okay no we're going to do colors color dot okay why we're having this error is because we need to get this from yeah from flutter material so i'll just import this so color dots from ergb so i'm just going to add this is it ergb i need i think i need um colors dot from rgbo actually yeah rgbo is what i need so i'm just going to grab this from here and i'm going to paste it in here that will be the first color so this will be our light blue i think so the very next color will be our navy blue i think this is actually darker blue so i'm just going to call this dark blue so we're going to get const color i'm going to call it dark blue is equal to color dot from rgbo and i'm going to put this in here and we're going to go to get more colors so we have this color here so we're going to get it and we're just going to call it gray so we're going to go down here and go to gray going to be equal to color dot from rgbo and we're going to just paste this here too yeah so we're going to paste this here 
now we're going to look for the next color just okay this is red so we need to pick this color and you're wondering why i'm not just using the colors that flood actually like provides why well, i'm actually using the colors that are actually provided in the flood in the figma ui is because some of the times the way our ic color and the way the color actually is in the designer are two different things but we can just generalize colors and just say okay this is that this is the other so i'm just using this color so that whatever my ui is going to look like in my flutter app is also going to be is also going to look like what the designer has actually like designed so this is one of the best ways for me to actually like follow up with what the designer has actually like made as the ui design so we have red i don't know if we have any other different colors any other distinctive colors i think this this matches with uh, the already existing blue that we have yeah it matches so i don't think we need any other color for that and this too it also matches so i don't think we have any other different color yeah so okay this gray here is different so we need to get this gray we need to get this gray and uh const color i think i'll call this light gray as i go to color dot from rgbo I'm going to place this here and that would be that for the colors yeah because this color and this color actually match this one I think I will just take this for black so uh, so we're going to call this const color I'm going to call it black and it's also going to be equal to color that's from RGBO. We're actually going to just do this, and that will be that for that. So we've already gotten all our colors. I don't think we're missing any. I think this gray here is also the same as this gray that's here, and this blue is the same as this already existing blue. So I don't think we need, and also this gray here is the same thing. This gray here is the same. This gray, is, this gray, and this gray actually the same color so i think now we've actually like gotten our colors correctly we just need to move on to getting uh we need to move on to getting our um ui done but i think the next thing i need to do is to get my assets so this is actually a vector that, okay i can import it as an svg but since it's actually a vector to give me an option to imp okay it actually gives me an option to import it as just an svg on, on on some other occasions you actually get an option to import a zip file that's going to contain a bunch of other different like different sizes of the images or sometimes just different components that make up that particular image but in this case we are lucky enough and we're just getting it as the svg itself so i think this other um i think this other icon i need to get it so i'm going to import it as an svg2 so i'm going to export and that's not going so we'll call this camera as svg and this actually this arrow we are going to actually collect it too no 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 that's that we just need yeah that's the entire thing so we need Excuse me. Uh, I need to select everything. No, this is not correct. I need to be able to select everything in, in here and use it as. So if I try exporting this, I have a feeling it's going to tell me, okay, I just get that. So we say back. Call this the back button. the svg and that will be that so i think now we have all our in all our icons we just need to move them to or put them within our flutter app so i'm just going to create uh, a folder so i'll just create a folder and i'm going to name it 
uh, images. So you see the images folder here. I just created it. I used a command, but you can actually like do this and do new folder, and you can just name it whatever you want, and it's going to add it for you. So we have images folder. So the next thing we want to do is to actually like bring our Im our SVG images and add it to our Flutter project. So if I can just minimize this and I'll select this, this, and finally this. So we have, excuse me. So I'll just select this, this and that. So I'll select this three. Now actually move it to our images folder here. So that's back button. And this is actually, I'm going to rename this to send. So this is going to be our send. So I think this will be it. I think in the very next video, what we're going to start doing is building our first UI. And we're going to actually be building this screen here, the initial authentication screen.